Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload a new video and make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what type of videos you wanna see in the future. I hope you all are staying happy and healthy at home. I know that this is a really tough time, so I thought we could do something really fun today. And I wanted to show you guys three super easy at-home nail art tutorials. Just need your hands, nail polish, and a good attitude. So, let's get into it. I'm going to go in with our G Polish base coat to start, and I'm gonna apply one coat of this to all of my nails. And I love using a base coat because it really just sets the foundation for your manicure and it definitely helps it last longer. Do you guys ever just blow on your nails and you don't feel like it's doing anything, but you feel like you need to do it? It's like when you're pressing a button on an elevator to make the door open quicker, but it's not actually doing anything. Now that we have our base coat on, the first nail art that we're gonna do is cow print. I love cow print. Well, first of all, I love animal prints. I just feel like they're a fun neutral. Like you can just put animal print with anything and it's just instantly more fun and cute and just, I love cheetah print, but cow print, it's the new cheetah print. It's taking over and it's so easy to do. It's literally just blobs of black polish on top of white polish, but when you put it all together, it gives that cow print effect. So you can't mess this one up. And maybe you just look down at your nails. You're just like, aw, you know, cow print. So we're going in with G Polish in Chelsea. This is our snow white color. And we're gonna apply one coat of this to all of our nails as the base for our cow print. So now we have our first coat of white on. We're gonna let this dry and then go in with our second coat. Second coat of the white is on. Now that that's dry, we're gonna go in with G Polish in Hell's Kitchen, which isn't black, but it's really, 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 really dark blue. So it'll work perfectly for this. The technique for this is uh, really that there's no technique. You just kind of go at it and do whatever you kind of feel looks right. And that's kind of what I did and it works out okay. <laughs> just kind of go for some bigger blobs, some smaller ones, and make sure to maybe get between three to four, maybe five blobs on the nail, depending on how big your nail is. Blobs is the professional, technical, scientific term for it, so. But now that we have the cow print on, we're gonna go in for our last step, which is top coat. And we're just gonna apply one coat of this to all the nails. I love this nail art so much. It is so easy to do. As you can see, it doesn't take any time at all and it really doesn't take any skill. So if you're kind of nervous to try out nail art, I feel like this is the perfect design for you to start with. Fun, check, easy, check, freaking adorable. Jack. Also, I have this cow print bag, so I just wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. So next up, we are gonna do a really fun polka dot manicure. We're gonna start out with a neutral base. We're gonna go in with creme or any kind of beige, light pink color will work perfectly. And we're gonna apply one coat of this to all of our nails. So after you finish putting on two coats of your neutral base, we're gonna go in with three colors to do the polka dots. And the three that I chose are LES by G Polish, which is this really cute pistachio green color, and then Malibu by G Polish, which is a mint blue. 
and then lemon tart which is this really soft pastel yellow and i chose these three because i felt like they all went really nicely together they're kind of these soft spring colors but if you want to go more bright if you want to go more subtle do your thing you can really have fun with this but just grab three colors that you kind of feel like look nice together and our cute color palette and then we're gonna start making our polka dots so starting off with the green i'm just gonna start making circles on my nails and they don't have to be perfect so just kind of create some circles using the end of your polish brush. And you can either keep all of the polka dots the same size or you can kind of make some smaller, some larger, whatever you're feeling. And for this last color, just try to notice where there's some empty spaces and fill those in with your final color. And after you go in with your top coat, your design is complete. I love this design so much. It's incredibly easy to do and it ends up looking so cute and you can totally change it up depending on what shades you use. You can create completely different looks, which is really cool. So for this last design, we are going to start off with our base coat and then we're going to go in with G Polish in Bel Air or any kind of light pink that you have. Then we are going to do two cherries on our thumb and our ring finger and this is definitely level three the most advanced or hardest out of these three nail designs and for this design I'm actually going to be using an orange stick um, just so I can use this pointed end to do the stems of the cherry but if you don't have this you can definitely just use the end of your nail polish bottle. I'm just using this so I can get a little bit more detail. I'm going to be using G Polish in Rouge, which is a cherry red. I'm also going to be using G Polish in Pine, which is our dark forest green color going to go in with our red and create two circles using the end of the nail polish brush. And I'm going to show you the two ways that you can do the cherry. You can either separate the two circles or you can put them closer together. So I'm going to do them closer together on my thumb and then separate on my ring finger so you can kind of see the difference. I think both are really cute. Then we're going to go in with our green to create the stem. And then this is pretty optional, but if you want to go in and kind of add the little shine on the cherry with white, you can do that also. After you apply your top coat, your cherry look is complete. And there you have it, your cute little cherry nails. I feel like these are so perfect for spring and I think this is a great way to kind of add a little touch of nail art to a neutral manicure. And I kind of showed you guys the two ways that I've seen the cherries done, which are connected or side by side. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning these super fun and easy at home nail art tutorials. If you guys happen to try out any of these designs on your own, I would love to see pictures. So please send them to me. I'm at ghanelius on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, all the products that I used will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.